For me, food is everything. In a southern Italian family, it's basically all about food. <laughs> I was brought up with a high standard of cuisine. I thought anyway. <laughs> Angela and I moved into Yarraville in 2005. The area had a buzz about it. I loved it because it's so Italian. It's known as a village and it certainly is a village. People know each other by name. It really is like a country town. I said to my wife, you know, Yarraville needs a good old fashioned Italian restaurant. I didn't want to reinvent the wheel. I wanted something that's timeless. Cafe Taroni is a traditional southern Italian restaurant. When we first set up, Joe's mum and his sister were pretty instrumental in helping with the menu. Our tiramisu is probably our signature dish. It's my mother's recipe. It's a traditional tiramisu done in a tray and done with authentic ingredients. I buy all my stuff locally. I think it's important. Being here this long, I'm always a fan of fellow traders. You know, we all have the same problems and often the same customers. The Sun Theatre is the lifeline of our little village. We've got people that go to that beautiful cinema and then we'll come here for a meal afterwards. It's really nice to look after each other. There's a lot of community within these walls. Customers have come in, they're always looking for Joe. Well, they come for our food. <laughs> I'm, I'm just there all the time. <laughs> I'd like to think I'm a, probably a traditional host, yeah? I'm sort of the owner that's there. They know me as Joe Taroni, even though that's not my surname. <laughs> our customers are like our family, and we've had customers that have been here from day one. We've seen little kids grow over the years. We've seen people get married and then come back with kids. When we were renovating, Joe and I went to a local petrol station one day, filled up the car, and Joe saw an old Pinocchio in the petrol station, and that was our first Pinocchio. It felt like every year someone came from overseas and brought me a Pinocchio. So now we've got like 16 Pinocchio. They come back and they say, here's a, here's a souvenir, put it somewhere. And I've got plenty of places to put it. Wherever there's a shelf, there's a piece of someone's memories from their family in Taroni. 